Velocity equals displacement divided by time. There's actually three ways to use this equation. You can use the equation to solve for velocity, obviously. You can also use the equation to solve for displacement if you know the velocity and the time. And you can use this equation to solve for the time if you know the displacement and the velocity. Here's how it works. Let's suppose that you want to solve for displacement and you know the velocity of an object and you know the time. Well, if you recall basic algebra, you can simply solve this equation for displacement using some very basic algebra. We do it like this. We know that velocity is displacement divided by time. If we want to isolate displacement, we can multiply each side of this equation by t, factor out the t, the new equation is displacement equals velocity times time. On the other hand, if you know the displacement and the velocity, you should be able to solve this equation for time, and we do it basically the same way. We can start out with this equation. If we start out with the, the displacement equation, we can isolate time by dividing each side by velocity. Velocity factors out here. We wind up with a new equation that says time is equal to displacement divided by velocity. Time equals displacement divided by velocity. So there are three ways to use the equation. Velocity equals displacement divided by time and displacement equals velocity times time and of course time equals displacement divided by velocity. Well, let's say you've never had any algebra before and you want to solve for displacement or time using this velocity equation. Here's a way you can do that. We'll call it the magic triangle. We'll draw a triangle on the paper. Divide that triangle into three parts. And we're going to take our basic equation, velocity equals displacement divided by time, and we're going to put it in this triangle. Now, if you notice right here in the original equation, that division line is a horizontal line. See that horizontal line? That now becomes a division line. You'll notice that the multiplication symbol here corresponds to this vertical line. So when we move this equation over here, we know that velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. That gives us a way to solve for any three of these variables. In this case, velocity is displacement divided by time. And displacement is equal to velocity times time. See that vertical line is a multiplication symbol. Velocity times time. Displacement equals velocity times time. Displacement equals velocity times time. And of course now we have this third equation for time. Time equals displacement divided by velocity. Time equals displacement divided by velocity. So there are three ways to use the velocity equation.